Assalamu alaikum dear researchers and welcome to lecture 5 of PLS SCM with Smart PLS 4. In this lecture we are going to discuss all about the mediation analysis. What is mediation? What is the concept of direct, indirect and total effect in PLS SCM? How we can use bootstrapping for mediation and how we can report our results? What are different types of mediations and we will discuss all these in this particular lecture. We say that mediation occurs when a third mediator construct or variable intervenes between two other related constructs. That is, it comes in between such that the change in the exogenous construct causes a change in the mediator, which in result uh, causes a change in the endogenous or the dependent variable. So, this is very important that if we are proposing a mediator, there is already a theoretical support in the existing literature, which says that this variable can be uh, hypothesized as the uh, mediator. To understand mediation, let's continue working on the same data set we have used in our previous videos. So for this mediation model, I have chosen fear of terrorism as the IV and negative effect as the mediator and psychological distress as the DV. What I'm going to do is make a connection between IV and DV and this is a simple mediation model. To test the mediation in smart PLS, we have to use the bootstrapping method as we have used earlier to find the significance of the path coefficients. So we are going to find the significance of the indirect effect. The indirect effect is the other name for mediation in uh, PLS SEM. So PLS gave us a result for the direct effect or path coefficient as we've already seen in our previous lectures. And now we are going to see the indirect effect, the total and specific. And we are also going to see the total effect, which is actually the sum of the path coefficient and the indirect effect. We are going to use the specific indirect values to determine the mediation. So let's see how we run this in smart PLS. Any model we test in PLS SCM has to go through the two-step process of measurement model and structural model, whether it is the mediation or non-mediation model. So we have to go through that process. We have to first go through the process of PLS SCM algorithm, see the quality criteria for construct liabilities and validities. Since I have kept the same uh, indicators and in previous videos, so you will see that majority of these quality criteria are up to the benchmark that is AV is greater than 0.5, composite reliability greater than 0.7 and Cronbeck alpha greater than 0.7 only in this case it is almost equal to 0.7. Similarly we can see the discriminant validity as we can see I have already discussed the discriminant validity between negative effect and psychological distress is just at, uh, at the border. You can see cross loading and formula like criteria. You can also check the R square values because we have to report all these in our mediation model results. The R square value for predictive for uh, uh, model explanatory power, the F square values, and similarly we have to go to the PLS predict algorithm to see the model's predictive power. Then we will run the bootstrapping. The bootstrapping criteria is 10,000 is recommended and percentile bootstrap one tail because we have the directional hypothesis. So let's start the collection calculation and then we will see the result of the path coefficient. So we have three paths between IV and mediator. This is significant between mediator and DV. This is also significant and between IV and DV. This is also significant. We can see the results of this path coefficient in this final result. The path coefficient, the total indirect effect, the specific indirect effect and the total in effect. So path coefficient we have already seen. Let's see what we find in the total indirect effect. This total and specific indirect effect is what we are going to report when we are going to test the mediation. How we know this is significant? One way is to check the p-value, but literature recommends that you check the confidence interval. Since we have only one mediator in this particular model, so our total indirect effect and our specific indirect effect values will be same. But when we add some more parallel mediators, as I will demonstrate, then our values for specific indirect effect will be different and the sum of all the specific indirect effect will be the total indirect effect. So let's see what the path coefficients or the confidence intervals report us. The confidence interval says that in fear of terrorism and psychological distress, the mediation is significant. Which mediation? Because we have only one variable. So the specific indirect effects tells us that the negative effect is a significant mediator because there are no zero values between the lower interval and the upper interval. 
It is also wise to report the total effect when we are testing a mediation model. I have copied this result on Excel and here we can also see the uh, graphical output. So for direct effect, if we say that fear of terrorism and psychological distress, the significant direct effect, there's a significant indirect effect because negative effect is a mediator. And for the total effect is the sum of this direct effect and indirect effect. Whereas in all other cases, since there is no mediation, so the total effect is actually the direct effect because as you can see 0.383 direct effect, 0.383 total effect. So we can report this total effect and we can say that this total effect is also significant whereas the indirect and direct effect both are significant. We can also report the percentage of indirect effect using the proportion of indirect effect divided by total effect into 100. So we can say that this is B7 divided by B12 and if we convert it into percentage we can say that 56% of effect is through the mediator whereas the remaining 44% of other effect is the direct effect. Is this mediation partial or full? Now if the indirect effect is significant but the direct effect is insignificant then the mediation would be full mediation because if this particular effect that is the direct effect is insignificant we can say that whole effect of IV on DV is through the mediator but in our case since both indirect effects and direct effect are significant we can we will say that this is the partial mediation to understand different type of mediation look at this diagram we have on the left hand side this simple mediation model in which this path from independent to mediator is A, then B and then C. A multiplied by B. What is software doing is that multiplying the path coefficient of independent to mediator and mediator to dependent to find out the mediator indirect effect. Is A multiplied by B significant or indirect effect significant? Yes. If it is significant, we go to mediation. If it is not significant, is C significant? If C is the direct effect, if it is significant, there is only direct effect. If it is not significant, there is no effect at all. If A multiplied by B or indirect effect is significant, we we'll look if C is significant. If C is not significant, this is indirect effect only, which we have also called the full mediation. In case C is also significant, that is a direct effect, then we have partial mediation. So what type of partial mediation? If the result is positive, then we have a complementary or additive mediation. If it is negative, then we have a negative mediation, which means that the mediator is diminishing the effect of independent variable on dependent variable. Now we have understood the basic mediation model. It's time to go for some more complex models. So I'm going to make a duplicate of already existing model, write complex here. So why don't we add another mediation as a serial, in fact, as a parallel mediation. This is positive effect, make a connection. Now this is a parallel mediation. We say that negative effect and positive effect are parallel mediator between fear of terrorism and psychological distress. And there's a direct effect as well. We have to go through the process of measurement model as well and see if all the quality criteria for all the variables is okay. So we have added positive effect. The quality for reliability and convergent validity is okay. But discriminant validity seems fine. And now we can proceed to bootstrapping. So calculate bootstrapping, start calculation. And let's see the results of path coefficient. First of all, we see the new two paths that are added. That is positive effect, psychological distress is insignificant and fear of terrorism and positive effect is also insignificant. So definitely if these two paths are insignificant, it means that the mediation will not be significant at all. But to see the result again, let's see the specific indirect effect. Now we have two paths. In total indirect effect, we have only one path because it is a sum of the both indirect effects, but we can find the actual result in specific indirect effect. And if we see the confidence interval, we see that positive effect is not the mediator because there is a zero value between the lower and upper uh, confidence interval whereas as we have already seen that negative effect is the significant mediator.
So this is the concept of a parallel mediator. One of them is not a mediator, the other one is the mediator and the direct effect is also significant. What about the total effect? The total effect that is between fear of terrorism and psychological distress is also significant. So in spite of one non-significant mediator, we have a total effect that is significant. Another interesting variation is the serial mediation. That is uh, the effect of IV on one mediator which affects another mediator and then it affects the DV. We can add multiple serial mediators. We can also add multiple parallel and serial mediators together. But uh, this, is, uh, th this is going to be quite complex and you have to understand that everything is supposed to be uh, based upon some existing theory and logic. So I would say that age, with the age, fear of terrorism decreases. So uh, the age has a negative effect on fear of terrorism, which has a positive effect on negative effect, which has a positive effect on psychological distress. So this is the mediator path. If I calculate this path, and since age is a single uh, indicator variable, I, I may not test its measurement model, but we need to test it uh, as we have already done before. So these are the results. First of all, let's see the path. The path between age and fear of terrorism is significant and it has a negative effect. Then again, fear of terrorism and neg negative effect significant and negative effect and psychological distress significant. So what about the indirect effect? So when I click on specific indirect effect, we have three results. First result is based upon, and we are going to check the confidence interval. First result is based upon the serial mediator. You can see age, fear of terrorism, negative effect, psychological distress. This is the negative value, which means that it is a, it is a competitive mediator and it is significant because there is no zero value between lower and upper bound. Fear of terrorism, negative effect, psychological distress. We have already seen this path. It is positive. That is, it is complementary and it is significant and age, fear of terrorism and negative effect. So if we consider negative effect as the dependent variable, again, we have a competitive mediator that is a negative mediation and it is also significant. If we decide to add a path between age and psychological distress as well, in fact, we can add multiple paths that like between age and negative effect, we can add paths like this between fear of terrorism and psychological distress, we can add paths like this. So we can make these complex models and this is why we are actually uh, learning PLS SCM because we can make these complex models. So if I run bootstrapping on this complex path and now see the results, open the report. So the path coefficient, we have multiple path coefficient. One of them age and negative effect is not significant. If I see total specific effect and the confidence interval here, age and negative effect is significant. So I can say that between age and negative effect, fear of terrorism is the full mediator or indirect effect only exists because there is no direct effect. The between age and negative effect, you see the P value is insignificant. So this is a complex bit of serial mediation. We can also add uh, another variable to see if we have a parallel serial mediation. Let me show you the last example. So what I have done here basically is to add two parallel mediator serial mediations in one framework. And the hypothesis is that age affects fear of terrorism, which affects psychological distress through negative effect and through positive effect. I can also add a direct effect like this multiple direct effect like this, but to keep it a bit simple, I have chosen not to add because we are interested in indirect effect only. So let's run the bootstrapping and see the result, open the report, specific indirect effect, because if we see total indirect effect, we will have uh, limited information. We have parallel mediators as well. So it's wise to see the specific indirect effect and confidence interval. And we can see that between now we have multiple paths, age, fear of terrorism, negative effects, psychological distress, and that path is significant. The mediation is significant. Then fear of terrorism, negative effects, psychological distress, significant age, fear of terrorism, positive effect, not significant age, fear of terrorism, negative effect, significant fear of terrorism, positive effect, psychological distress, not significant. And finally, age, fear of terrorism and positive effect not significant.
so i hope in this video i have demonstrated multiple examples of mediation multiple combination of mediations we can use we can make very complex models what we need is the theoretical support what we need is the constructs that we can hypothesize that they can be used as mediator between an iv and dv and the multiple mediators we can also introduce to explain the relationship between an iv and a dv that is all about this video stay tuned for the next upcoming lectures